Hey everyone, how we doing? As always, welcome back for good vibes and video games. And today we're gonna be jumping back into Starfield. Real quick, I do wanna catch you guys up on some stuff that I did. I didn't do anything story related, but what I did do was I took the time because I really felt like I needed to practice as much of the game mechanics as I could. You are probably aware that the game when you're starting, especially if you're a new player, can be kind of overwhelming. I would say that since I came into this game, having already played all of the Fallout games and all of the Elder Scrolls games, the learning curve was not as bad for someone like me, but I could imagine that someone who picked this game up as their first ever Bethesda game is probably sitting there during the initial tutorial phase like what the heck is going on and what do I do? Don't worry though, you're not alone. I definitely felt the same way. So that's why I played it on my own for like a couple hours. I did some like general, very, very, very basic side missions. But the thing that I spent the most time doing was quite literally sitting in the maps I practiced so much just learning some of the controls and trying to understand what certain icons meant and really tried to delve into the complexity of the mapping system. Maybe you don't really feel that the map was really all that complex, but for me, I felt like there was just so much going on and it was like mapception. As of right now, I am currently in the middle of doing the Freestar Collective quest line, which is basically Space Cowboys. And there's so many factions in this game too, and I wanna do all of them. I really hope that they don't make you choose one or the other. I really love, like I did this in Skyrim, I love just being able to do anything and everything. I don't wanna pledge my allegiance to anything too early in the game that will potentially close me off from another totally separate faction mission down the road. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you guys so much for clicking on the video today. I appreciate it as always. So with all that being said, let's jump back into Starfield. So just to update you guys, I did invest in a couple more skills because I realized that I should probably do that and diversify the things that I'm investing in instead of the same like three skills. So I invested in demolitions, which throwing grenades now shows a trajectory arc, which is so freaking useful in this game. I almost wish I would have done that right from the start. And I think I Finally, I totally forgot about this freaking perk, but I finally unlocked, you know, being able to do the advanced lo locks with the digi picks. And to be honest, I am not good at the lock picking in this game. The digi picks for my, my brain sometimes just cannot compute. I try to plan out everything before I even make a single attempt, but then it always fails. And I'm sure they're only gonna get harder the more you unlock like the higher level lock picking skills great. But either way, I want to do this because I keep coming across a lot of safes that need opening. And then this will come as absolutely no surprise to you, but I finally found the perk that allows you to increase your carry capacity so that it'll take me just a little bit longer to become over cucumbered. So now I get to continue my toxic trait of hoarding everything and anything, even if I don't need it. <laughs> All right, guys, back to business though. What? mission were we in the middle of doing i believe we oh that's right we were on our way to neon and i'm very excited because i think this city was depicted in the direct and it looked awesome and i'm also kind of glad that i decided to go forward with the free star collective mission because i forgot that they were directly linked to neon so let's go i'm excited and again, another really cool thing about, you know, the missions and how to make maneuvering all the maps a little bit easier for you. If you just click X or whatever button it is for you for set course, it'll just automatically do all the hard work for you, which is super nice. And we are close enough that I can just jump straight there. Approaching ship, you've entered Freestar Collective Space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. <laughs> Keep your hands off my contraband. All right, we're done. Have a good time in neon. Mostly because I have none. <laughs> I'm too scared to pick up any contraband anymore now that I know they'll confiscate it and murder me. Ooh. Yo. 
a, an entire ocean. Hold on, hold on a second. <gasps> this place looks awesome! Yo, 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 yo. Does this not look like freaking Camino from Star Wars, but just more, you know, nightclub-y? I have to go to the edge to verify this, but you know, we got platforms. We got, you know, high rise, yeah, platform buildings and all that. And then we just gotta look over the edge. If there's an entire sea, which there freaking is, this, okay, 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 okay. The Star Wars nerd within me is so excited right now. This place screams Camino, And I mean, it's just so nostalgic. What Star Wars fan does not know about Camino? Watch, I'm gonna be that Star Wars fan to like have actually gotten the planet wrong and I just said the wrong name and then that would be super embarrassing. But it's fine, we're just gonna go with it. Looks like some sort of checkpoint ahead. I do see that. To suck the credits directly from your pocket. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that word to come out your mouth, but thank you. That gave me a little chuckle. This place is also giving cyberpunk. Nish, don't you shoot that person. Sniffers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. All right, get up okay. slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire. Don't do it, dude. It's not worth it. Just do what they say. Hey, I'm pretty sure we have the same outfit. I'm pretty sure me and him are twinning right now because I found a settler outfit. Now, shut up and start walking. Move it. Let's go. I can't watch this anymore. This is a disgrace. Anything we look into her husband's murder. Oh. Yeah, right. Hysterical old god. Hold on, maybe I can help with that. Oh, I just got a new side quest. I love that. And you know this is going to be the place for the ultimate Starfield fashion. Look at everyone. Colorful, probably lots of leather, shiny leather. <laughs> I can't wait to explore this place. We got the trade authority. Pretty sure that's where you can, uh, I don't know, you trade things. I loved this, the Canuck stuff. This district certainly provides evidence that Ryujin's influence has spread from their tower and out into the city. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what Canadians call themselves. My dad's from Canada and he calls himself a Canuck all the time. If it's too hot. I just love that. We can take it off your hands. Too hot to handle. I love that show. It's guilty pleasure. Don't judge me. All right, let's go in here, shall we? Excuse me. Oh, and they're right here. Hey, <gasps> I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? In the flesh. Were you expecting someone else? Not exactly, but I get a lot of unwanted visitors. Kind of comes with the territory here. You must be Ranger Price. The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Yes. The truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here, but this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. Yeah, I could tell. Well, hopefully I can count on your help. You can count on my help if you play by the rules. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. <laughs> Our job is to keep the peace, and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Law enforcement isn't exactly welcome in Neon, but that shouldn't deter you from your duty. I am not shocked. I want to know who runs this place. That would be Benjamin Bayou. I've heard that name. He's out to squeeze every credit he can from the people of this city. He doesn't much care who gets hurt in the process. He's also got a seat on the Council of Governors. Mm. Proves that if you've got enough credits, you can buy anything you want. Great. Well, thank God I have a lot of credits. <laughs> totally not stolen off of people's dead bodies. We just won't talk about that. I won't cause any trouble, I promise. Good. I can't believe this. You're shirking your responsibility based on what this fool thinks. Oh, you have a lot to learn about duty and honor. 
Oh my god, Your don't hate me, I'm sorry. Your would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cost credits, nothing in Neon is free. <laughs> you know, Sarah, I know you're judging me silently over there. Actually, no, she just judged me to my face. I hate being judged by my companions. Sometimes I wish that they just didn't care. <laughs> Aren't you worried that your badge makes you a target here? Nah, I've got friends in high places, so to speak. I'm the son of a Ryujin Industries executive. Maybe oh, you've heard of hmm. her. Name's Alexis Price. There's a sort of fragile piece here in Neon. It's better for everyone if the syndicates and the corporations coexist with minimum friction. Are you sure this informant of yours is trustworthy? This is Neon. There are no guarantees. And who I find trustworthy changes on a daily basis. <laughs> Talk to him or don't. It's your call. Any advice for a Free Star Ranger deputy working in Neon? Stay out of people's business until you can. Okay. Be willing to let the small stuff slide. Right. Don't break up a fight unless it's getting out of hand. This is just great life Most advice. Most of all, don't assume that badge will protect you. Never. Never assume anything. All right, take me to Billy Clayton. Come on. Come on. Come on, Sarah. I know you hate me now, but sometimes you're just gonna have to build a bridge and get over it, okay? I'm trying to be honorable, but I also want to get done. Are we gonna go through this door? Okay. Oh, 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 excuse me, sir. I'm so sorry. That was pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah. I read all the reports. You learned quickly that in Neon, staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the marshal tried to recruit you right away. Ha <laughs> ha! Would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. What can now, I say? Someone tried to hold up a bank. Oh! Alright. <laughs> totally not rude at all. Well, you buddy. understand that. Yeah. That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind. You'll fit right in. I'm just glad they recognize skill when they see it. Ooh. This place is crowded. Oh. <gasps> Yo, I want that outfit. Oh, I might commit some light murder just to steal one of their outfits. Okay, don't judge me. Hey, Billy. You got a second? Oh, this is Billy? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Check. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and we thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. I'll take it away. Also, this is definitely my favorite city so far. I just, I love all the colors. I'm a very simple person. What do you need? A stolen Hope Tech ship landed here recently, and I need information on the pilot. Hmm. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. <laughs> He's like, which one? I Take your pick. One from the other. You know what I mean? I suppose we shouldn't be surprised that he's asking for something in return. Oh, she is not pleased. She is very open about anything that she does not agree with. You know, I respect that. People could be in danger, though. Yeah, well, I'm one of them. Okay, he makes I a fair point. But right now, my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Where are you going with this? Please, just hear me out, okay? I need to know I can count on you. I mean, of course. That's part of the job, yeah? Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. Well, that's terrible. You shouldn't be responsible for your brother's debts. True. Thank yeah. you. Well, tell that to Goodman because he doesn't seem to care. They don't care. He just wants his money. Exactly. I'll talk to this loan shark, but you'd better make it worth my time. Wait, I want to know what syndicate he's even talking about. The only one that matters around here. The Sayoka Syndicate. They pretty much run the city. Another faction? That being said, 
Rumor has it that Emmett Goodman is on the outs, so they might not miss him much if he were to disappear. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I know I was just saying earlier that I was willing to murder someone for their outfit, but I don't know if I, this, this might be too far for me. I'll talk to this loan shark, but you better make it worth my time. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebb's side. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. Hey. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. That's nice of you. I love you and your beautifully luscious head of hair, Jalen Price. All right, let's go. Oh. <gasps> okay, okay. That is awesome. Wait, what is this? It's a ki oh. Kino Fresh, Zeno Fresh. Horrible down here. Yeah. Ooh, how can these workers stand the smell of rotten fish and goodness knows what else? That's a fish? I don't, that is one of the coolest looking shark fish I've ever seen. That is so cool. Hold on, I wanna get in there and see if, I wanna see it closer. Oh, I'm currently trespassing, they don't like that. Okay, um, okay, well I'll back out, but I really want, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, no worries, no worries, I, I, uh, I will get lost now. That was so cool. I am fascinated by sharks. Of course, my favorite week in the year is Shark Week. <laughs> oh, ah. did I need to stop? Okay. Okay. Sure? He actually gave me a heart attack because now I'm sitting here second guessing if I turn the stove off, and I'm pretty sure I didn't even use the stove today. Oh, anxiety, man. The things it'll do to you. Oh, look, here we are. I don't freaking care. I am the one with a gun, sir. You better keep walking. This is private property. I'm gonna smack you in the face with the butt of my gun. Ooh, I'm about to whip out the badge. Free Star Ranger business. Open that door. Nah, I don't think so. Neon's got a ranger, and you ain't him. All right, well, that was not the answer that I was expecting or hoping for. All right, let's do persuasion next. I need to get in there. It's important. Do you now? Yes. <laughs> There's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? Let's try this one. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Yes, oh yes, super empathetic. I understand that you can't let everyone through. Rules are rules. You're Shit. not getting through. I know there's a way to get past this. I'd like to think so. Okay, I need one that's a plus two. Okay, no one else needs to know about this. I mean, yeah. it might be okay. You go in, talk to the man, and then you come right back out. Of course it's okay. Try anything stupid, and it's your funeral. No. Yeah, your funeral first. Thank you, sir. I'm glad you finally understand. Okay. We gotta go up the stairs. Is there anything I could probably Make steal? Quick, then get out of here. You know what? Quit telling me what to do. Ooh. Hello there. A new customer, perhaps? Sir, totally doesn't look shady at all. Nope. Pfft. Well, now, always happy to have a visitor. Uh -huh. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are ya? No. Oh my god, what? the way he said that. Are ya? What kind of operation are you running here? Oh, it's just a modest enterprise, really. You could call me an importer, an exporter. Inherited the trade from my daddy. My daddy? I'm sure you ain't here about my business. Oh, I actually am. Your days of preying on desperate people are over. Such harsh words. You wound me. Your charm will not Have work I on me. Have I credits to help those in need? Certainly. But that's no crime. I'm well within my rights to collect my due. And if payment is late, penalties shall apply. Can we get this over with? I don't want to spend a moment longer dealing with this imbecile than is absolutely necessary. I agree with you 100%. Billy doesn't owe you a thing. The debt was his brother's. Now well, that's where you're wrong. Cal agreed to my terms, including collection from family on the event of his passing. It ain't no. he dragged Billy into it. But make no mistake, that's exactly what he did. Okay, that What's sucks. What's your stake in this anyway? That, sir, is none of your damn business. 
But you're making it my business. Ho, ho. I have a legal right to collect what's owed to me. No law is being broken here. Ooh, attack or persuade. <sighs> as much as I love violence <laughs> in video games, let's just try to be peaceful about this. Then offer me something I want. And I'll consider it. Oh, it ain't gonna be money. You ain't getting a dime out of me. Okay, that's a lot of persuasion. Getting on the ranger's bad side will come back to haunt you. Let's Whoa! just calm down now. Hell yeah! Okay, he responds to violence. Back that kid into a corner and you might make him dangerous. <laughs> oh, let's no go! That. We're doing well, look at that. If you don't help me, the Freestar Rangers might just hold a grudge. Ain't no need for that. Well, I yes. I could make an exception. It's just this once, you understand. It just promise me you'll keep my compassionate nature a secret. If folks might try to take advantage. We just put the fear of God in you. <laughs> I regret nothing. Well, that was my good deed for the day. No. Oh, what was your name, Billy? Did you talk to Goodman? I did. I persuaded him to forgive the debt. No big deal. Yeah, you figured he wouldn't want to make an enemy of the Freestar Rangers. Glad the badge still means something around here. Hmm. The Syndicate doesn't worry all that much about the Rangers. I think our new deputy here is just a real smooth talker. You know it. Okay, time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. Ooh. That's on the upper platform. Oh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> Let's go. All right, how much do you want to bet? It's a strip club or like a really, really cool bar. Ooh, I can't wait to see it. I will say that this city is beautiful and super fun, but man, is it like a maze. Oh my God, traffic jam. Oh my God, people. Oh my gosh, my introverted ass right now. Uh-uh, no, <laughs> not handling it well. Absolutely not. Ah! Hello, Grace Early. A Freestar Ranger and his, what are you? A sidekick or something? I'm Freestar Ranger Dep- You- and you look at me when I'm talking to you. I am Freestar Ranger Deputy Miranda at your service. Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? <laughs> and you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. You've had run-ins with the law before? Why am I not surprised? A time or two. Maybe more. And yet here I am, walking free. Please, I just need some information. It could help save lives. Aw, oh, ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. It, wow. That sound about right? Yeah, she has really done this before. I know you stole the ship, but people might be in danger, and I need your help. All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. Huh. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men, and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? Jeez, you want to have fun? How about paint? Or go rollerblading, don't steal ships. You provided the means for mercenaries to intimidate and threaten an innocent person. Look, they didn't tell me what they were gonna do. Going right for the guild. How was I supposed to know they were gonna go after some farmer? You should have asked when you took the contract. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Yep. Did you think about that? Nope. I... No, I... I guess I didn't. Yep, we're we're tugging at the heartstrings right now. Look at that. I love persuading. Enough small talk. Tell me what you know. It, it's not that simple. It's not that simple. This isn't the notebook. Tell me what you know. This is important. Lives depend on it. Yeah. No. Sure they do. You, I just told you they did. There's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? This isn't getting Fudge. Anywhere. Crap. This this is one tough nut to crack. You need to tell me what you know. 
<gasps> Calm down. I'm still thinking about it. Oh, we'll think a little faster. You don't seem to understand. I need this information now. Damn it. I don't care how badly you need it. I'm not telling you. Oh, sweet jeez. No deals until I get some answers. All right, fine. Okay. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. Hm. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. Sure. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. I haven't heard from her since. Maybe she did know? Did she say where she was being treated? No, but it sounded serious. Oh, okay. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't Maybe she saw the truth. Cry, so I didn't. It didn't seem right for you to pry, but you went and you stole a ship and got an innocent person in trouble. I don't know if you have your priorities straight, lady. Did Maya say why the first needed the Hope Tech ship? Only some kind of offhanded comment about their client wanting to expand the operation ahead of schedule. In my line of work, you learn not to ask a lot of questions. It tends to make people uncomfortable. Mm, yeah, and what, ex what am I doing right now? Asking a lot of questions. <laughs> Go on. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. Polo! He was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here. Take it. Okay. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Uh, well, n no. I'm actually surprised with how smoothly this went. Did Marco ever give you his location? Not so much as a hint. Dang. I'll tell you. He's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankroll in the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. What do you know about the man that you delivered the ship to? Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Okay, so it seems like that's really all she knows. We got all the information we need. That's all I need for now, and I appreciate your cooperation. Yeah, sure. Look at the person creeping behind her. The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. Okay. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, deputy. Then I'm free Whoa. to go. Yes, I guess. You're free. Thank you for your help. Wait, wait, wait. I should say, if you promise your ship jack and days are over, then yeah, you're free to go. Suits me. I'm getting too old for this line of work. Besides, I'm going out on a high note. Ain't many can say they grabbed a ship right out of Hope Tech. <laughs> Should make a good story for the kids one day. Yeah, you know what they say, quit while you're ahead. She's got the right idea. You know, Love you. I respect you. Ooh, is that poutine? Canuck ham boys? Ooh, you can't go to Canada without getting some poutine. I'm telling you right now. <gasps> okay, okay. Outfitters, um, uh, you, we're going shopping. That's it. It's settled. You wanna head to Euphorica after work tonight? Nah. Sounds like another club. A little burnt out. I think I need a break. I need a new outfit. Ooh, space suit, workbench. No, I want some like good normie clothes. Sounds like for your next expedition in store. I just want to see your clothes. Come to Sick Hearts Outfitters. Everything you need to explore the settled systems. Look at his hair. You don't need it. That's some great marketing right there. That is quite a bold claim. I can promise you, I'm not just using hyperbole to get your business. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. So take your time, look around, ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. This is quite an impressive shop you have here. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs in debt. 
This is a prime spot, right next to the spaceport terminal. But the bills and the rent here are astronomical. Astronomical, get it, because we're in space. This is a space game. Some of these options are straight savage. It's actually really funny. Are you usually this open with your customers? Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> it can be off-putting, I know. At least he's aware. I picked up the habit from my mother. She was an extraordinary woman. Made friends instantly wherever she traveled. Wise as well. If she was still alive, she would have told me to move my shop and cease paying these exorbitant fees. Yeah, and she would be right. His mom sounds exactly like my mom. My mom can go anywhere at any time, make um, all the friends she can. She's always the first one to show up, last one to leave, and then walks away with like a hundred extra friends. Well, choice business locations ain't cheap. Sure, and going in, I expected it to be expensive. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. Right you are. So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? <laughs> He's over here like, help me, I'm poor. Let me see what you have for sale. I'm sure we can make a deal. I just want to see the apparel, cyberware, streetwear, eh, to- <gasps> Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Um, yes. <laughs> no. Mmm, no. Cute concept. Don't really like the color scheme. <gasps> Freaking yes, please. Oh my god. All of the outfits are amazing. I'm going to end up buying his entire stock. Oh, I have, a, I have an outfit on similar to that currently so we don't need that again and frankly it looks like i'm about to jump into a pool with some arm floaties thank you so much for your business i cannot wait to put on my new clothes i don't even care about the stats at this point i am just going for fashion so yes this is what i have on right now it's the settler comfort wear and like do, does it not look exactly like the outfit that i just saw however i don't want to be looking like the michelin man anymore okay i am so in love with this one and i love that it also matches my freaking hair finally but i'm also between this one as well because this one just looks elegant and i love the gold accent but but I think I'm gonna have to go with the festive Neo City poncho because, um, yeah, it's it's the best of both worlds. It kind of looks like a skirt, but it's also a really comfortable looking outfit, and it just most important, it matches my hair. Oh, look, there's a hide spacesuit and settlements option. Yay! Now I get to blend it with the locals. Let's go. Look at me, I'm so fashionable. Oh, I'm I'm running around like this forever. Also, fun fact, the spacesuit that I currently have equipped is so awesome because it'll cause enemies to spontaneously combust if they're close enough to you. Isn't that cool? We're back in Aquila to talk to, I think it's Alex hey, Shadid. Hey! Oh, thank you. You guys are so excuse nice. Excuse, no, excuse you. Why? Did you fart? Ah, here we are. Hello. Good to, good to see you too. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've yes. always wanted to go there. What did you think? Loved it. Favorite city so far. Reminds me of Camino. That's my kind of place. Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Definitely stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town yes. that settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? I need your help with the encryption on this slate. Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. Okay. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so <laughs> not usually hard to find. <laughs> Dude, same gamer problems. When gaming is like all you want to do, of course, like what is what is a life? Pfft, who needs it? I'm counting on you, Alex. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. 
Um, we're all human beings and none of us are better than another one. Okay, I just wanna make that very clear. So like, don't really love that attitude. Otherwise, you're a pretty swell guy. All right, Sarah, what do we do next? Do we just go do something else? Oh, we gotta go talk to someone. Okay, now let's play the game again of where the heck is the stairs? I found it. Yeah. Hello again. I need a wood. Uh, no, I need a word. Also, can I steal this? Recruitment and retirement? Marshall, it is the opinion of the council that you need to prioritize recruiting. I'll say it plain, we need more rangers. Your report on the rise in smuggling makes that plain. Now, I don't mean to disparage the work that you and your rangers have done. I know you're all doing your best, but I can remember a time where there were twice as many of you as there are today. I'd like to see those days return, and so would the people of the Free Star Collective. I'd also like you to think about your successor. <gasps> I volunteer as tribute. I hope I'm on the path to being the, the head honcho. Let's be honest, Marshall. Neither of us is getting any younger. Surely you've earned the right to hang up your spurs with pride and enjoy a well-earned retirement. I look forward to seeing you at the next council gathering. I wonder if that means that going through this entire faction quest line that I'm probably going to come out as like the main deputy or rather just the leader of the Free Star Collective. That would be so cool. The, the chair. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Oh, we found him. I was able to track down the thief with Ranger Price's help. Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. Thanks, I think I'm getting the hang of this, and actually that is really how I feel about this game as of right now. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is. A start. A start. What did you learn from the starship thief? I scored big time, got the names of two high-ranking first members, Maya Cruz and Marco Polo. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. Well done, deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and hmm. an expert hacker. Okay. I could give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. You know what? I don't really plan things anymore because no nothing ever goes to plan. I like to just brute force everything, so I think I'm just going to do that. The clock's ticking and I want to go in guns blazing. Let's just talk about what's next. All right. How can I help? Ooh, where would someone go for some long-term medical treatment? Most likely place would be the clinic. Hmm. It's in Free Star Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. Course. They also guarantee privacy, so it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. All right, sounds good. Marco's keeping his location a secret. How can I find him? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Free Star Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. So does that mean I get to get into some trouble? That's enough to go on. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? <laughs> Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Free Star Collective betrayed them. Right. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. Good! Be careful. Good hunting, Deputy. I love it, yes. Anything to use my guns. <laughs> Ooh, this coffee machine reminds me. I need more coffee. Do I really need more coffee? I don't think I need more coffee, but I definitely want it. I'm not addicted. I swear I can stop any time that I want to. Oh my goodness. Again, these are the best parts about Bethesda games is there. it's so hard to get bored. There's always so much stuff to do. And as you can see, there are so many missions that I have available to me. I don't know what to do. It's so overwhelming. I want to do it all. 
and I want to share all of it with you guys, obviously, because I think it's fun if you guys want to come along for the ride. Obviously, some of them are going to be more important to the main story than others, but I love doing all the quests because Bethesda does such a good job of even if you do some of the smaller, like more seemingly average, more mundane quests, you still get some really solid stuff from just doing them. Even when I was doing a couple of the side bounties earlier, like when I was playing this game by myself, I came out of doing each little quest line with like legendary gear and some other really cool stuff. So it's always worth going through and doing as many quests as you can, just cause why not? They're here. Speaking of quests, I do want to check we this lot of bounty bulletin. All class. Let's see if they got anything else. Ooh, okay. Obviously I want to kill some stuff. Rescue hostage at Oborum, yes. One riot, one ranger. Mm. It says at the very end, trust me, you'll be interested, but I'm not really interested in that 500 credit reward. <laughs> I'll do it anyway, because why not? I am not just a hoarder of items and food, I am also a hoarder of missions. Missions, missions, missions galore. Ooh, here we are, we're in the Narian system. Dipala, the clinic. All right, so I think this was the area that is not under the Freestar Collective jurisdiction anymore, so we might be getting into trouble and I'm all about that life. Dipala. Ooh, I wonder what we can see here on this map. See, I love studying these menus a little bit more now that I'm a little less overwhelmed with everything going on in the game. Now things are starting to make a little bit more sense. I don't know if you're anything like me, you get very overwhelmed very, very, very quickly. All right, let's hail this thing. Please respect priority docking for emergency patients. The clinic welcomes all. Okay, so I don't think we want to go in and cause violence in a clinic. That this <laughs> just doesn't feel right. But we will dock. All right, we have boarded the clinic. Can I at least loot some stuff here? Oh, <gasps> cred stick! Yes, mine. Hello, hi. Nothing to see here. And the got anything you need to offload? Trans oh, dang it! I want to steal that med pack, yes. but I can't do it while you're there. It just feels wrong. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> this place is really stinking cool. All right, let's go talk to the patient if we can find them. Or maybe talk to this person first. Between you and me, this place sees some weird cases. Gross ones, too. I would expect that from a clinic, yeah. Yeah? Got some trouble? Always. Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? Yeah, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Then you know I'm tracking down members of the first. And having some success, by the sound of it. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. <laughs> so, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? I think so. She had some kind of urgent medical issue, so I'm confident she's here. You know, Hope. Every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, Debbie. Huh. Just what he said there with the UC piglets. So, like, the United Colonies is just clearly maybe more antagonistic to the free stars so it makes me wonder if i can do those those missions eventually maybe i can't do it after i go too far into the free star collective but i want to do all of it most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here and i ain't fond of them right back <laughs> bunch of stuffy eggheads if you ask me except ari that is He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Let me, let me guess, this is Ari? Is Ari? Enough to know that the Rangers working hard be or arms, hardly working? But to have it be my own. <laughs> so comforting. Hey, Chief. Kill for a little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Dr. Darvish. I'm looking for someone who might be fresh out of training. 
to I'll make sure she doesn't regret it. Well, I'll leave you and Mr. Miller's capable hands. Thank you. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Awesome. I just okay. <laughs> Look at him. I'll try to help. Look at that hair. Our computer systems have been having some issues. When do computer systems not have technical issues, okay? Interesting. The person I'm tracking down is actually a computer expert. Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so uh, I doubt that's related. Okay. That's still, <laughs> it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Also, I love your shirt. It, I love that pink shirt. Can I have it? A former soldier named Maya Cruz. She fought bravely in the colony war. Former soldier, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they say war changes people forever. Makes me sad. The thought of soldiers who come home and don't fit in anymore. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but... Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? No, I don't actually think... We were ever told that. All we know is that she required some long-term care. Yeah, a little bit. It was a medical emergency that required long-term care. That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal, assuming the database cooperates. Come on. Okay. We're getting somewhere, guys. There's such a mountain of work. I could really use a hand. I but love I your accent. Want to inconvenience anyone. Os Osian? Osian? I don't know how to pronounce your name, sir, and I'm sorry. Okay, give me just a minute here. Okie dokie. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. <laughs> me too. Okay, finally. Here we go. I want to oh. go get into a fight somewhere. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. What? What do you mean? We came all the way here for her. Someone's someone's got to be here. Tell me something else good. I need some good Maya's news. here, then she's got to be using an alias. Probably. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. What if the records were tampered with? I guess it's possible. Maybe I can give you another option. Okay. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. Okay, well There's that narrows it down. Candace, what's her last name? Doolin. Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. You know, I know we're technically space cops and stuff, but this does really feel like an invasion of privacy and a massive violation of HIPAA if they still follow the HIPAA rules. I'll talk to the patients. Sorry, I couldn't be more helpful. Oh, it's I'll okay. See if I can turn up anything else useful. All right. Let's go talk to the two patients. The cases no one has ever seen. Oh, there's one right here. Come on, she gotta know Hello, something. This is Poor my private people. Room. I can't imagine suffering from something no one understands. It must be terribly frightening for them. I hear about that kind of stuff all the time with people that just have something, they know something is wrong. Cause like, you know your body, you know what you're feeling, but like no one else can ever really know what you're feeling. So when there's no explanation, I couldn't even imagine how terrifying that would feel. I hope to never experience it. If you're someone experiencing something like that, I feel for you. I can't imagine how terrifying that, that must be. And I hope that there's someone out there that believes you and is willing to help and find out any answers. Cause Excuse me, but you're clearly in the wrong room. Am I? Excuse me. What gives you the right to come in here? You're not my attending physician. Get out before I call for security. Do it. Do it. You won't. I'm very sorry to disturb you. I just need a moment of your time. Well, Good cop. I suppose I can give you a minute. All right. That's what I like to hear. I'm just gathering some info. What brought you to the clinic? Believe me, I hadn't intended to stay here. I'm a courier. I was transporting certain sensitive documents here to the clinic. My ship was um. intercepted by pirates. I escaped, but not without damage to my life support systems. By the time I reached the clinic, I was barely alive. <sighs> I was rescued and placed in intensive care. That was two days ago. Okay, that does not sound like what she was talking about before with the person that we're looking for. That doesn't seem, unless she's lying. I think there's more to your story. Well. The nature of my work requires a certain level of discretion. Okay. Much as yours does. 
Uh -huh. I've shared all that I'm willing to share with you, deputy. I don't think so. We'll see about that. No one will ever know you told me, I promise. I'd like to tell you I really would. You should. You should, though. Come on. I'm sure there's a way we can both walk away happy. Yes. Maybe so. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. What's the harm if you tell me? No, Damn. I can't. Damn. Sorry. <sighs> Crap. I can We're see so that you close. still have doubts. If you don't believe me, then ask Mr. Miller at the desk. He can verify who I am and how I came to be here. Actually, no, they can't because their system has been corrupted. Ugh. Okay, well, let's talk to Candace. She's our last hope. Funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough plane traffic in here. I can't even use it yet because I don't have the perks. Oh, I don't. As much as I want to steal that, I just This place can't. makes me feel all <gasps> Oh, I miss having my hands in the soil. That's terrifying. She just, she just went, <laughs> came out like a vampire. She was, oh, hello. Okay, now we're laying back down. Okay, she seems to be indecisive today. Get, you don't you gonna get back up with that onesie. Come on, we gotta chit chat. Why, hello? Are you here to keep me company? She seems so sweet. I, I do hope so. There's I can't no get any of these doctors or nurses to slow down and, and just chat for a while. They all claim they're too busy. This cannot be Maya. There's no way. She's too sweet and she's too open to talking. I'm here on Freestar Ranger business. Ranger business? Oh, I can't imagine what for. <sighs> Unless you're here to track down that no account husband of mine, that is. <laughs> You'd think he could be bothered to pay me a visit once in a while, given I've been here as long as I have. But no. All I get is the occasional letter apologizing because he's too busy to run the farm all by himself. So hire some help, I tell him. <laughs> and then all he wants to do is complain about how my medical bills ate up all our money. Wow. Well, perhaps we should move on. Sarah's getting bad vibes about this. I need to ask you some questions. You want to talk about questions, uh-huh. Well, I've got plenty of those. Starting with how come these so-called doctors can't find anything wrong with me? I have got no end of pains. Headaches, sore knees, sore back, digestive problems, and, and, and all manner of other ailments. I keep telling them I must have caught some kind of alien virus. But these fool doctors can't figure it out. I'd had test after test for three months straight, and I'm damn near broke from the cost of staying here. Okay, she's starting to change a little bit, making me think this might actually be Maya. Wait, so you've been here for three months? Okay, maybe never mind. Pretty sure I have, but you lose track of time real easy in here. Yeah. All I've got is these white walls to stare at and nobody to talk to. Makes the days feel, oh, just about endless. That would be awful. Okay, I think I can rule you out as my suspect. If you're looking for someone who's done something wrong, how about telling <laughs> these doctors to work on their bedside manner? If I'm gonna be frank with you, it leaves a lot to be desired. I suppose that also means you don't oh. wanna talk to me anymore either? Well, go on then, don't let me keep you. I thought the high and mighty Freestar Rangers were supposed to help others in need? If you ask me, I think that sterling reputation's getting a little tarnished lately. Damn. Well, come on then. Don't let the troubles of one poor citizen distract you from whatever higher calling you all answer to these days. Oh my gosh, she's just so mad. I get it, I get it. I wouldn't want to be stuck in here either. We got no answers from that. I don't know who's who anymore. I feel like I'm being lied to. Ari. Hey, how'd it go? Help me. Luck? No, I had no help. Or no luck and no help. Not really, I'm hoping you got some new information though. As a matter of fact, I did. Oh, thank goodness. I made some progress digging through the patient records and I have one more lead for you. Her name's Catalina Rivera. She mm. was rushed into surgery for some kind of emergency. Okay, that sounds good. I probably shouldn't say this, but she was in real bad shape. 
even better. Is. She seems to fit your suspect's profile. The bad news is that she's a guest in our VIP wing. That area is restricted to authorized clinic personnel. Even I can't go in there. Um, are we gonna shoot our way through? I'll figure Dr. something Cassidy's out. He's in charge of the VIP wing. You need his permission to enter. Unfortunately, he's a real stickler for the rules, and the rules say no visitors without prior arrangement. You didn't hear this from me, but I happen to know that he keeps a spare access card somewhere in his office. You're gonna tell me Hope more. That helps you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, looks like we're gonna be sneaking in for that key card. I'm oh, sure hello. Else that can help you. Titus Cassidy. Yes. What do you want? I want help. I could really use your help. I need to talk to someone in the VIP wing. I'm sorry, but we don't permit unscheduled visitors to that area. Too bad. I need to ask whoever it is that you wish to visit to make arrangements with me. Okay. Who exactly are you? None your business. I mean, I am Deputy Miranda at your service, and I really need your help. You could be Solomon Coe himself, and my answer would be the same. No. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. Oh my goodness. Are we really going to let this bureaucrat block our progress? That's right. No. Just hear me out for a minute, okay? I'm a busy man, so make it quick. Oh, we're gonna be making it real quick. The people I'm hunting for are murderers, Doc. Yes. Didn't realize. Yes. Come on, I'm very discreet. No. <laughs> You Damn. have to do better than that. Apparently, you're testing my patience, doctor. Keep it up, and things might get violent. You can rest assured I'll be speaking to the marshal about the caliber of people he's recruiting. Oh, shit. I think I've heard enough. I'm gonna get told on. My answer, and I'm no. My well, then I'm gonna have to break in. I'm gonna have to break in now. Is this your office? I don't think so. That does not look like your office. If you're thinking about going into medicine, just be really sure before you commit to it. <laughs> really? Sure. <laughs> really? Sure. Like, positive. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave so I can shut the door so that no one sees what I'm about to do. But I guess she just doesn't care. There's a tablet. Wasn't there, like, a key card in here somewhere? Oh, maybe I gotta... Oh, damn. Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to leave really fast. I'm about to just try to close this door. Please don't lock her. Oh, of course she's locked in here with me. All right, move. Ooh, clean up on aisle one. Clean up on aisle one. At least it's not puke. Ma'am, I need you to, no, don't go back in. Okay, maybe this is not the correct office. Wait, yes it is. Are you serious? Lady, I need you to leave. A moment. Oh, it's about to get real dull in about two seconds. Let me see if talking to him will do anything again. Maybe he'll give me a second yes. chance. What do you want? I really need to get in there, buddy. It's a good bet you've got a fugitive hiding in your VIP wing. I need access. Even if that were true, which I doubt, access to that area is strictly limited. Yes, yes, we know. Who exactly are you? Deputy Miranda at your service. You could be Solomon Coe himself, and my answer would be the same. Yes, 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 we know, no. we know. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. Yeah, well... Oh my goodness. Are we really going to let this bureaucrat block our progress? No, we're not. You're really going to cling to the policy when there might be lives at stake. Do you need your hearing check, deputy? We have a machine for that just down the hall. Oh, I don't like this guy's attitude. If that's your final answer, then I'll just have to think of something else. I hope that means you won't be bothering me again. This guy. Ooh, this man. Oh. I hope this lady is not in the. F Get out of the office! Oh my god, he's coming. Oh my god, he's coming. Oh, yeah, he's not coming this way, though. Ma'am, I. S I'm just gonna. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to pull a gun on her, but you know what? We're just gonna try to do it while she's right here. All right, how are we gonna do this? Okay, so that one definitely works. Oh, okay, we got this one. Perfect. Okay, I'm kind of getting the hang of this. This is going a lot smoother than before. Uh, I may have I may have spoke too soon. What about this one? See, I thought I had it, but it seems like I'm going to have to undo this, or maybe not. I don't know. The digi things don't always make sense to me. Can I be honest? I'm just gonna auto slot it. Can I auto slot it? No. Slot key won't let me do it. 
None of these fit that I can see. Well, I'm out of digi picks, so I feel like we're just out of luck here then. Oh! Okay, I need to get my button mappings down a little bit better. Maybe I should just try to sneak into this damn place. VIP? I'm a very important person, right? Yeah? No, maybe not? No. I need you to leave so that I can do something illegal in here, okay, lady? Jeez. One week without something weird, that's not too much to ask. Yeah, lady, I, 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 I don't care. I'm gonna be doing the illegal thing. Oh. Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe we can push her the hell out of here. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Yep, yeah, back it up, back it in. Let me begin. Get the f- and stay out! Stay out of here! Alright, let's try this again. I found another- What the hell? Did she steal the digi- The digi- I don't even remember the name for it because I'm so mad right now. She stole the digi pick back for me? Oh, ha, bish! I don't care. Don't care. All right, let's try that again, but this time maybe let's plan it out a little bit better than last time. Um, okay, so that may work and that might work. Okay, so this one, I'm pretty confident. Like there is absolutely no other flipping way that this could work. I think it has to be this one and this one. So we're gonna go with this one and then I think we can go with this one. Okay, so if we do the, oh, please work, please work, please work, please. Oh my God, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness we got it. Please have the key card in here, please. Light particle fuse, sure, I don't even know. <gasps> oh, hell yeah, that's mine now. Yes! yes! Oh my God, you have no idea how happy I freaking am. Oh, I was so frustrated. Oh. But it feels good. It feels good now. We got it. That's literally all that matters. We're going in. I don't care. Um, we're gonna be sneaky sneaks. I don't care about breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. That's my theme song right now. I need to calm down. Um. Um. What? The heck? What is- this just got real interesting. What the hell just happened in here? Why is every- why are they dead? Do they not even know what's going on in their own VIP lounge? This is not a lounge, this is a clinic. There is no fun to be had here. But what the hell? Okay, well I'm glad it just got interesting. This is a good payoff now. I'm stealing it, I don't care. I don't care. No one needs it anymore. Everyone in here is freaking dead. Maybe things should not go my way more often because honestly this is kind of funny. <laughs> I'm gonna be having the last laugh right now. You know what's boring? You know what's boring? When things go according to plan. Because now, this is fun. Okay, I was about to shoot someone on the mother flipping toilet right now. I am in that kind of mood. Ooh, let's go. Sarah Morgan, don't judge me, not interested. I will return you to sender if you judge me for any of this. All right, here it is after we got what the hell? Why is this clinic booby trapped? Why? This is so weird. This is so bizarre. What is happening? Where is this so-called VIP patient? I am not convinced that what's going on here is exactly what they said is going on in here. I think there's lots of lies happening. All right, so we gotta search for clues here. Okay, maybe there's something in here. Okay, well that gave me a whole lot of nothing. Maybe there's some sort of tape we can listen to. Ooh, yeah. Read immediately. Maya, the rangers are onto us. They're gonna find you and when they do, an alias won't protect you. The best bet is to hunker down somewhere safe. Your hideout in the old asteroid mine at Sakharov should be ideal. Maybe still one of the clinic's emergency ships. I can't say that fast. Emergency ships if you need a quick escape. I know you don't have much time. The Operation's almost over. Thanks for helping see it through. And if I don't get the chance to tell you in person, I'm eternally grateful for your brave service and loyalty to the unit. It's been an honor. Major Hull. All right, I think we know exactly where she's going now. Let's get the hell out of here. I have had it with these people. Typical healthcare. 
And I can't get in there either. Ah! I forgot that I had this kid just casually, you know, coming along for the ride with a bunch of adults. This feels weird. Do you think the documentary about your life will be made into a movie? Oh god, I hope not. And who uh -huh. do you think will play me? Me? Probably you, because there's no other you besides you. And I wouldn't want it any other way. I'm half tempted to bring him along because I feel like he loves me so much I won't get judged for anything. He will just let, let me steal everything you to my heart's desire. I, you zag, I zag. I am your sidekick, your shadow, your... But maybe we'll give Sarah another chance, okay? All right, we're out of here. On to the next place. I think we have to talk to that Sarkarov, wherever they are. Ooh, they're over here. All right, let's zoom. Zoom, zoom. Wait. No, I don't want the clinic anymore. No, 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 no. We need to get farther away. There we go. Mission. Let's go. Oh, I don't have any grav in my... <laughs> oh, no, I don't have any grav in my jump. <laughs> it's, not... it's been that kind of day. Okay, guys. All right. All right, there we go. <laughs> It's okay, guys. I'm slowly losing it. How's your day going? Ooh, asteroid field. Okay. Let's get closer. Ooh, no comms. Um, so we don't need that anymore. Maybe we should boost up our shields a little bit. Yeah. Hail again. Nothing. All right, let's just dock. And I hope there's some fighting to be had. I'm in the mood to fight. Oh, yeah. Love to see it. Okay. Yep. This is very, very silent in here. Oh! About that silence. <laughs> Anyone need a new face? Ooh. Oh! Why is that so bloody creepy? And do I want any of this? No. Ugly. My suit's better. Yes, so I need to go downstairs, but we're gonna loot as we go. This is my favorite part. It's my favorite part about exploring in any Bethesda game. Like, even though you gotta go into some sort of space station or anything, cave, whatever, check every freaking door as you go. Check every hallway, every lane. You never know what you're gonna find, and it is so much fun when you discover stuff. Especially loot and money. Okay. We can't get in there, so that's good. Haha! <laughs> you know we have to go this way. Activate. Ooh. Very industrial. Heard your ship mm. If you are who I think you are, then you're here to bring me in. I oh yeah, I am. I've had more than enough time to prepare for this. So good, me too. Or I'll be I've been waiting for this the whole freaking video. Bring it the heck on. There is a lot of stuff around here too. <gasps> Ooh, refined navigator spacesuit. Yes, please. Oh, there's also another spacesuit that I have. It's called the Chameleon something something. It's called the Chameleon Refined Deep Mining Spacesuit. So the cool thing about this one that I discovered is when you have it equipped- Temperature levels are bottoming out. When you crouch. You completely blended with your surroundings. How freaking cool is that? But I'm gonna go back to the one that spontaneously sets my enemies ablaze. All right, let's keep going. Hopefully there's some good stuff around here. Ooh, love ammo. Equinox, already got like a bajillion of those. Let's go check up the stairs first before we go forward. I just wanna see if there's any other loot that I need. Ooh, this looks like the cafeteria. All right, we're getting some good stuff, but it seems like, unless there's something in here. Yeah, there's some stuff in here. Heifer and yogurt, yummy. Otherwise, it seems like that is all. All right, let's go deeper into the mine. Okay, which way? Ah! 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 Okay, well, that's wonderful. Um, what's the best way to go without dying? It won't get me killed. Kill it! Kill it! I mean, kill- I mean, shoot it first. <laughs> what's aim? What is good aim? What's good aim, guys? What is, what's it like to have it? Because I don't have it. Come here, you grasshopper. Oh, I can just punch you. You're dead. 
Nice. Yeah, I'll take it. You're going to be carrying that gooey mess, right? You're going to be carrying that ooey gooey mess, aren't you? Yes. All right, I ain't messing around with them anymore. Let's just keep going. I want to get the heck out of here. How do we? How do... Oh, come on, quit playing games. I actually found out about this when I was playing on my own. So there's some doors that you'll come up to that you can't open normally. Wait. Wait a second. Okay, no, you can't do that with that door. Okay, never mind. I thought you could, but yeah. Fun fact about these doors. You gotta shoot them here. <laughs> I had ammo. Okay, there we go. Uh, I thought, well, I thought it was supposed to break. It's supposed to break. There we go. Maybe I didn't hit it right on the money. Now I am. There's another one. Get up close and personal. Oh, I think it just needs to be shot twice. There we go. Okay. I think I want to change my gun. I ain't digging this gun so much. Uh, what do I want to switch to? This has no ammo. Ooh, let's go in with a shoddy. Shoddy never fails, right? You don't need to have the best aim. Oh! oh! No! Ah! You look like a Vosco! Sad, no! Boom! Yeah, you're about to take more damage. Catch these hands! Zero wire? I don't know if I need that yet. Med pack, thank you. Ooh, let's turn on my flashlight, shall we? I don't need any more cutters. Let's go down here. I thought that was a soccer ball. It's like, I love the decor in here. At least someone thought to decorate nicely. Yeah, this place is really freaking cool. Oh, the robo dog. Hmm. Need to reload. Does that thing have a freaking turret on it? Hell no. Get away from me. Get away from me. You get it, Sarah. That's all you. I don't even need a gun. Okay, we need to heal. Yikes. Holy crap. Once again, guys, remember to save early, save often. It's fun and it's good for you. And it leads to a lot less frustration later on. There we go. That's what I like to see. Big booms. Boom, boom. Round two. Let's go. Get that dog's attention. I don't want the little... Oh, hell no, hell no, hell no. Sarah, get it! That's right, attack her, not me. Dead, dead, got it. This is why, this is why automatic guns are my favorite. This, and also, this gun specifically with the extended mag on it. Oh my goodness, so nice. I'm gonna heal. We need to heal up now. There we go. Let's go. Find anything useful. What's a zero G gimbal? All right, here we go. This is the good stuff. I'm tempted to save right now. What's in here? Hopefully something good. Med kits. There's no such thing. <gasps> Ooh, did you pick? Um, there is no such thing as too many med kits. All right, let's keep going down. I think this is actually the floor level that ah! that the elevator would have taken me to. No, 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 I think, oh, oh, shh, no, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you freaking don't. Ah, yes, they did. They did do it. They did it. Oh, no, this is bad. This is not good. Ah, no, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Why? Oh, that's right. See, there we go. Exhibit A, they're on fire and not a good... Jeez! Oh my goodness! No oh. oh my god, I'm gonna die! Stop! We just we should stop ruining my reload for me. Oh my good gracious! How much armor do these little bugs have on them? Okay, I think sprinting will cancel my reload, uh, which makes sense, albeit quite annoying. Damn joke! <laughs> You're a damn joke. That's right. You got him. You got him, you tell him. Ah, F these guys. I don't want to waste my ammo on them. I'm, I'm going. Screw these things. I don't care. Oh, bloody hell. We got to find the... Let's do this. The thing. I think you got to follow the cord to open it up. Oh, of course it's in here. I was just in here. Oh, here it is. Okay. 
Oh, you gotta use these to hack into the terminals too? Okay, I gotta think about this. So this one has a duplicate. So I think one of them has to be used on this one. I'm hoping for the best. Oh, I think I'm on the right track. I think I'm, yes. There we go, we got it, first try. Love to see it. Open that door. Open that door. <gasps> Come on, done. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. I'm running right past those damn grasshoppers. I don't care. No, 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 no. Sarah, I don't know what the flip you're, you're on or what you're doing, but I'll have what she's having. Okay, at least this one's like a normie and not shielded up. Oh, good lord, no. We got a turret. It's about to be a dead turret. <gasps> no, I'm so sad. I have no more ammo in that gun. I need so much more ammo. It's not even funny. This Grendel's actually really good. I don't know what, like, modified one I picked up randomly, but this, this has been serving it up. I'm just throwing a grenade at that thing. I don't care. Die. Okay, well, it missed. Lovely. Reload, reload, reload. Okay. All right, we're doing, we're doing better. I need to save. I saved because I am not doing all of that over again. <laughs> okay, there's gotta be something in here. Ooh, yay. Really dark, really creepy. Mm, fun. I wonder if after this, we're gonna have to go find um, Marco, I think that was his name. Yes, need that. Oh, 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 you guys come in here. You're bringing the party to us, how nice of you. Okay, where exactly do we have to go now? Oh, I didn't even, oh, 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 oh well, I guess made that decision for me then, huh? Ah, oh, shit. How did I not take damage? I'm not gonna ask. I'm just gonna accept it and be grateful. Gratitude, you know? That's what. That's the most important thing. All right, I don't know where I am, but I'm walking. Mm-hmm. That's it. That is it. I'm pretty sure I still... Maybe I have to go through this way now? Yeah, this looks brand new to me. Expert can't get in there. Dang it. Okay, maybe we're on the right path. I'm hoping so. I need this digi pick. I'm actually genuinely scared of this boss fight at the end. I feel like I feel like it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a good one. Ooh. Ah! She's No 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 no. Sarah! Where are you? No, no, no. Don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Uh... So, oh, thank you so much for Sarah for finally showing up. Wonderful. Oh wait, I don't think I looted this yet. Okay, cool, we got it. This is looking good. We're going the right way. And it looks like there might, yes, more med kits up here. Oh, thank goodness. Please be something good. Calibrated Grendel. Um. I think the one that I currently have on is about the same stats. Do I want to take it and maybe sell it? No, I'm too lazy. Wow, I didn't pick up something for once. <gasps> wait a sec, wait a sec. I think I already have a coachman though, but was that a different one? All right, I think we have to get on this elevator next. I should save. I'm very scared. Oh, let's put a different gun on. I, I think I have enough grenades, so we should be fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope I have enough ammo for all of the guns that I currently have. I'm going to stop throwing away my melee weapons. Because when I get into sticky situations like this... Unbelievable. I've never seen a single crystalline formation of that size. Sarah has the most crazy and ridiculous acrobatic skills, and I am in complete awe. That's right! Oh, love physics. Where are you shooting at? Oh my god, there's so many enemies. Oh, oh, oh. Get it! 
Oh my god, there are lasers everywhere. I'm gonna d ah! Get him, Sarah, get him, Sarah. Oh, shoot. Give me your best shot. Give me with your best shot. This is a really inappropriate time to start singing. You know what? I now kind of regret being half alien, half human now because all of the healing stuff is less effective on someone like me. Learn from me, guys. Don't make the same mistake and I'm out of ammo. All right, we're going with this with a shoddy again. We'll see if this works. Sarah, just please, dear God, don't go dying on me. I think I have to go up to meet up with this boss person. Oh, hello. Um, hi. Hi. Yep. Oh, that's a turret. Oh, lovely. Not doing the greatest amount of damage. Um, I think I might just run past them. This- this- this is off- this is terrible. This is coming at a- this couldn't come at a worse time. This couldn't come at a worse time. I think I'm hidden. Please tell me I'm hidden here. This is one of the more difficult missions I have done. It is giving me the work out of a lifetime. Maybe the solstice will be better? Need this thing to die. Thank you. Mm. Lovely. Oh, it's almost dead. It's almost dead. There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Why am I still taking damage? What else is shooting at me? <gasps> Thank God there's a ton of med packs, and now we know why they're giving us so many. All right, I'm just gonna keep going. Oh. Oh, lovely. Someone did all the work for me. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh, I need to heal. Oh, God, I need to heal again already. Come on, kill the robot. Kill the mother flipping robot. All right, let's gonna go in with this thing. Hopefully, this will help. Don't you punch me. Yes. Not nope. Possible. <laughs> Bye. Ah! Stop shooting me! They just won't ever stop, will they? Done. Done. That is right. I don't care about these other turret things right now. Let them live. Um. So there's someone in there walking around. Okay. Let's. Oh, I haven't used the dead eye at all. But yeah, it's a revolver. It makes me look like a cowboy. I'm gonna go in with the lawgiver, this rifle that I picked up. Boom. I'm coming in there. It's gonna take me 10 years, but you just wait, ma'am. Oh, you better be ready. Where's Sarah when you need her? Hmm? Hmm? Mm hmm? All right, wakey, wakey. Rest in pieces. Maya. Oh, yeah! Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. I wanted to give you a last chance at words. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm not here to kill you. You seem pretty eager to die. Why is the first seizing farmland? Because the, that's what we were hired to do. Okay, well, that's a very simple answer. Too. Okay, yeah, makes but sense. But the best part was getting to stick it to the people who turned their backs on us. All right. Who hired the first and why? <laughs> I can't wait until you find out. Don't lay that sh on me! And then not tell me, that's so mean. So this is about revenge? Of course it is. This just got so we good. We 20 years behind bars because our leaders got scared and called off our attack just when we had the battle. And did the people of the Free Star Collective that we fought and died for come to our defense? No. They did nothing. Nothing! Ah. She dying? She seems pretty fine to me. They can die. Just like most of our unit did. <laughs> Back to the business at hand. Fine. I ain't feeling conversational anyway. It's because you're bleeding out. <laughs> I'm not here to kill you, though. Wait, the first must have a base. Where is it? Yeah. It's not gonna tell me. We've got a base, a good one, too. Spend months of my life getting that place up and running. As for where it is, 
Yeah, you I knew have it. To figure that out on your own. I figured. Yeah, she's not gonna give it up too easy. You might not think so now, but it's likely to end up that way. How about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live, and I ain't spending them behind bars. Oh, that's right. You she's sick. End me here and now. Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. I will leave you in peace. But I'm not leaving until I get some information about the first. Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. No. If you can crack it, you learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Nope. Nope. I have a cryptography expert that's going to do it for me. I don't have a single brain cell left after this mission <laughs> to do it my damn self. I love how she just goes about her business. Like, yeah, no big deal. And we're still getting a lasered outside. It's fine. She just went right back to sleep. She's got an armed and dangerous enemy in the same room. I love this game so much. <laughs> I just, I love Bethesda games with all of my heart. I was hoping to be rewarded with some med packs for my efforts, but it doesn't look like there's any in here. And uh, I don't really want to fight my way out of here right now. Damn it. But I think I'm going to have to. I'll see you guys outside. Or better yet, I'll just meet you right here on Aquila. But actually, getting out of that mine was a lot simpler than I thought. I forgot that most of the time Bethesda games will make it so that once you get to the very end of the cave that you're, you know, there for whatever mission you're there for, they always give you a fast way out, which is so, 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 so nice. I forgot about that, so I thought I was going to have to backtrack all the way back to the entrance, but no, I was able to find the shortcut. Oh, here you are again. What's your face? Alex, that's right. Logan says I spent too much time at my terminal. It's a bug in here. We right. Oh, that was really close. Way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. Yes. How do you like the job so far? There's a lot of talking involved, but we finally got into this epic fight at the very end here, which was a ton of fun and well worth the wait. It feels good to be out there making a difference. That's good to hear. Steel and oh, stuff as well. Brings you by. Got another encrypted slate for you. Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Yes. <laughs> I just got it. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. Ooh, almost 6,000 credits. Might be hard worth work. it. Sure beats living under the boot. <laughs> but that whole quest line was actually a ton of fun and getting to see Maya at the very end there. And she made everything so much more interesting by saying, just wait till you see who's behind this. So now I just, I can't wait to see. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Starfield. And like I just said, now I'm even more interested in what this storyline has to offer. But the payoff at the end of this episode was definitely worth it. And then she dropped another knowledge nugget on us saying that whatever, whoever this is at the very end, whoever is behind all of this and whoever hired the first in the first place, it's gonna also be something to really look forward to. This was honestly a ton of fun. I am loving the Freestar Collective questline so far, but I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough so far. I am loving it. Weird stuff, weird occurrences. I have had zero bugs in this so far. Honestly, the only weird things that I've seen is having Sarah glitch and do these like really random, crazy, non-realistic acrobatics randomly. That has been so funny, but it's the stuff like that that I live for in Bethesda games. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button to get notified for the next one. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And if you guys are playing Starfield, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, I'll see you guys next time.